Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frank, how's it going? <laughs> I just got a like hey, something man. caught in my throat as you did. <laughs> you can't be doing that. Sorry. In I the times was... of Rona. I know. You know. Yeah. Um, I just wanted to uh, quickly give a shout out to all of our patrons over at patreoncom slash yard. We had a goal to hit three thousand uh, uh. fucking patrons by the end of September. And Frankie said I could pelt them with eggs, and we have crushed it. I think we're like at thirty five hundred. Right that now. was super premature. Yeah. I fully didn't mean it. If we're gonna do it. We're gonna pelt them today. So we're gonna. I'm gonna hit them with some eggs today. It'll probably be out by the time this fucking video comes out. But also, I just wanted to say um, that we wanted to start giving back to our patrons who are supporting the mm -hmm. show. So we have decided that now every single month, one of you guys will win a thousand dollars. Gosh. I don't know how we're going to choose who's going to win $1,000, but we're going to do it. Mm. So every month, one of our patrons is going to get $1,000 cash. Don't even fucking tell the government you have it. Yeah. I'm just going to send it. Just lie to them. Just lie. Hide it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to send you cash. Yeah. Until you get audited. Until I get audited, then I will 1099 you and I will fucking sue you into the ground. There you go. No. That's it. <laughs> that's it. Typical white man in America, you know? No. But uh, so that's what's going down. So we're, uh, our patrons, one of them won $1,000 every single month. Uh, and yeah, so we're just super excited about that. Also, a uh, new addition to the show is that, I mean, eventually we're going to put some shit around here. We're, I'm actually doing that this week, so it'll look nicer than it is now. You just moved into this place. Beautiful place. Why are you talking like suave? Because I am. <laughs> you have that's, gel in your hair. That's I, why I don't have any gel in my hair. This is all natural, baby. That's no. Yes, you do. Do you want to touch it? Why is it soaking wet? It's not soaking wet. You it's dumb, shiny. You dumb idiot. It's because it's my natural oils in my hair. Your hair's that oily? I didn't wash it for like a week and a half. What the hell's wrong with you? You don't wash hair every day, Joey. You don't. You also don't not wash it for a week and a half. Yeah, you do. A lot of people do that. Who? People that want their natural oils to look this good. Oh my god! You touch oily. my hair. Touch it. Am I gonna? It's nice. It, it's fucking. It's rough. Really nice. I feel like I just put my hand in the sand. You didn't. You put it in the fucking beautiful golden. They're not golden. Wait. So do you wear a shower cap like an no, old? No, I wet my hair. Yeah. But I don't wash it with shampoo. I don't. I I only use shampoo like every other time. Or so something. then there you go. You're not washing your hair every day either. For ten for ten days. I, I, it's yeah. It's been about ten days. That's a lot of it. days. It's not double digit days. Listen, if you want your hair to look this good, don't wash it all the I'm time, I'm not saying folks. it doesn't look good. It does. Don't even fuck around. And I, say, I think it looks good. Thank you so I think much. It's good. And the fade, you. stick with that. I don't know if I will. I actually had to Stick a, with that. I, <laughs> is that an order? Yeah. Tell me it's an order and I'll get fired if I don't. D you're dead. Oh, I'm dead. That's it. You're like not even firing. You're killing me. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hurt you. Okay. All right. Well, then. There you go. I had a dream last night that I went and got another fade and I walked out and I was like, I don't need this. That was your dream? It was part of it. Yeah. Your dreams suck. The other day I had a dream that uh, I was with my, you know, with Becca's dad, and I, like, beat the shit out of some kid that wiped shit on me. True st Like, not true story, because it's a dream. <laughs> Wait, a, a child? No, so I was, well, yeah. You beat up a child? I did. Fire. Pretty bad. I, Wait, you hurt a kid? I killed, How old was he? I killed a kid. You killed a child in your my, dream? In my dream, I did. With your hands? Yeah. So I'm in a, listen, I'm in a bathroom. You would kill a kid in this situation. You too. kill a kid in a bathroom? Listen. Why there are you was in a, a bathroom with a kid? Can you let me finish? I'm just asking a question. There's a line of people waiting. There's a kid in the stall, and he's taking his sweet ass time. And I finally knock on the stall. Of course. Hello, people waiting here. We need to use the bathroom. Yeah. Some people don't have the luxury. What happened? You all right? No, I was just checking to make sure we're good. Oh. Some people don't have the luxury of being able to hold their bowel movements for that long. Okay. So, this kid comes out, and he has his shit wiped on like a cloth. But it, it wasn't... It looked like strawberry jelly. Wait, he shit red? It looked like it. He's got some problems. And I said to him, like, yo, if you touch me with that... I'll fucking kill you. Wait, hold on. He had it on a piece of paper? Um, no, no, no. On like a piece of cloth. Like a towel. Like he had wiped it up or something. Oh, like a handkerchief. Yeah. And he touched me with it. So I... Wait, where did he put it on you? On like my arm. So I beat the living dog shit out of this In kid. a public bathroom. With other people watching. And they didn't do anything. No. Did we, they cheer you on? I don't... I, that I don't remember. They might have. I don't know why I said they that. They made like, him. <laughs> <laughs> but like I beat the shit out of this kid. That's dope. So dope. Yeah. And then... I walked out, because it's my dream, remember, thinking I'm in so much trouble, and my hands are on my back, like, oh, I got arrested. And, I, and to Becca's dad, I went, Bob, it's a dream. Woke up. 
fuck, dude. Dude, right? You you like, damn. And like, I killed the kid. Like, I was ready to walk He's out. He's super dead. Like, could not be more dead. What did you do, though? Like, I, you, like fists. Okay, Oxana, you, you rock this child. Banga, banga, bang. Right. Just, just fucking so, unloading. Hold on, let me get it. Well, how old was he? Oh, he was like, he was like nine or ten. Oh, dude, that's a small kid. Well, not small enough where they're defenseless. This kid could have fought back a little mm. harder. But I he could have, but he didn't. He didn't. <laughs> exactly. My dream. He knew he fucked up. Dude, he's got all kinds of anal problems. He's bleeding all over his probably, shit. Probably, probably. I walked out, and like I was good to leave, and the kid was still alive at this point. And he like said some smart shit. You went back? I went back and Yo. killed him. <laughs> Yo, there's something wrong with you. Yeah. You step on him? No, 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 no. Just, just punched him? Yeah. So he was on the ground, you were beating his face in? You, like, bad. Like that's real crazy. Bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's scary. It's not a crime if it's in your dream, right? Frank's having a kid soon, by the way. So. Yeah, I am. I'm very excited. I've, dude, I can't wait to tell him this. He'll fucking, or her. I was going to say, yeah. we know it's a girl already. Yep. I don't know why you're saying I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let her know, like, listen, don't get out of line because he's killed a kid before. Yeah, I mean, I won't kill my own daughter. Well, not yet. That's getting I, dark, Joe. Could, in your dreams, anything can in my dream, But in my dreams, I'm going to control my dream. I'm not going to be... Like, I had control in that dream. Yeah, in that one. Yeah, that, that was a one. lucid dream. And you chose to... So, I had a dream, and I... Uh, Danny's sister, Christine, your brother-in-law... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I, I was in a lucid dream where I knew I was dreaming, and I was hitting her over the head with a, with a chair. Yeah. You were going... You were stone cold in her. So, I mean, I think I had said this in a video, but I didn't say it on the podcast, but I had a lucid dream, and I was like, oh, shit, I'm, I'm dreaming. Wait, what do you mean lucid? Lucid dreaming is like you become aware that you're dreaming, so it's like you are actually in control. Oh, that's that's what I did. It's pretty cool. I know. It's kind of weird that we both hit people yeah. with stuff. Yeah. But I walked out. It was in my old apartment, so I walked out, and I walked to the kitchen. I just see like a big-ass spider on the wall, but I wasn't afraid of it because I was like, oh, okay, it's a dream. Dream or not dream? It, it was a dream. Oh. So then... Uh, I hear a door close behind me and I turn around and, and it's Christine and she's <clears throat> she's just walking towards me, not saying anything. So I'm like, I'm dreaming. So I turn towards the table and I pick up a chair and I just pulled it over my head and fucking slam it on her. Nice. Right? But it bounces off of her. Not for her. Nice for... Like, oh, very not nice It's a for good her. move. Oh, it was a great move. It's a great move. <laughs> it was a great move. I would have... She would have been dead. Dude, so dead. But it bounced off of her like it was like a... Like a like, she was a, a piece of rubber, and this was another piece of rubber. Just yeah. like, boom. Yeah. Right? So I just kept fucking slamming her with it. Were you there when I accidentally hit her with a with a wiffle ball bat? Nah, but that's dope. That wasn't a dream. That was unfortunately real. Yeah, that's sick. No, I felt so bad. I mean, it's a wiffle ball bat. She'll survive. She's tough. Yeah, she's she's very tough. And she was. She was like, I'm good. You know, like, it hurt, and it made her tear up a little bit, because anyone getting hit with anything that hard. Oh, just getting hit with a bat. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> So this girl's taking a whole lot of abuse. Yeah, we us. beat the shit out of her <laughs> in our dreams in life. It's, it's fine. Uh, um, but yeah, what I was getting at before is I wanted to to add an element to the show where we can kind of like react to videos or pictures or anything. Mm, mm. Um, and I had put out a thing that got misconstrued a very like a while ago where I. I, I Loved this. I'm an idiot. So I put out this thing on Instagram and I was like, hey, if you want to be a part of the show or be on the show, I said, yep. then send us like a video with a question or whatever. People took that as like, I'm going to send this resume and I'm going to be the third host. I saw you post this and I was like, oh boy. I'm an idiot. This is not going to go over well. Yeah. And I mean, I knew what you meant because you had spoken to me about it. Yeah. But it was quite clear that no one else did. Because you were telling me you were getting people like, dude, that would be a great addition to the show. Yeah. I was like, fuck. Yeah. But some people got it. But what I meant by that was like, if you have a, like, if you want us to talk about a certain thing or you have a question that you wanted us to answer uh you know send it send us send it to us via dm on instagram at the basement yard um and keep it in the chat so we can like screen record it and then put it in the actual show because i've created these templates now and you'll see in a minute because i got a dm that i want to show you guys about yeah um, I, I, it's like lurking in the background and I'm yeah just, i'm like i don't know what to do here <laughs> so we'll get to that so i'm just saying like if you want us to talk about stuff whatever hit up hit, hit up the dms for the the basement yard and uh, maybe you'll get on the show. And um, yeah, if you have like a video or something, like whatever, send us links, whatever you want. And it doesn't only just include just like weekly shows that might go on to Patreon as well. So make sure you check that yeah. out. Patreon. Some of the more com. crazier shit we'll put on Patreon. Yeah, Patreon is like where we're getting a little X rated right because, now. Because because especially on Patreon, like if the videos on on YouTube are like unlisted, then they're not gonna like check them for anything, and they're not monetized either. So 
We could put whatever we want, with the exception of like you know someone getting fucking railed. Yeah, we're not gonna put like any graphic porn. Yeah, nothing crazy. Any graphic porn, but like the regular porn. Regular. You might put some regular stuff on there. The precursor. I remember when YouTube first came out, like two thousand and six, two thousand seven. The first thing I looked for on it was porn. Porn. Very first. Yeah. And I, I used to look up cleavage videos all the time. Really? That was your, that was your thing? Because I knew that that would be allowed. You know what I'm saying? Like, I knew someone was out there like, dude, I love looking at, like, just that line of space. Really? Is that, like, still, like... No, 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 it's not. But, I mean, when you're a kid, you know? Like, you can't... I know titties is not going to be here, so next best thing is, like, a boob. That's some... A, that's, a some that's some... <laughs> That's a pretty good hindsight it's, that you it's had deductive there, Deductive reasoning, you know? That's, no nipple, then let's just push them. You know, I gotta together. say, I'm pretty impressed with your ability to understand. Because we were going to, like, back in the day, you could find porn anywhere. We were going on, like, funnyjunk.com, and it oh. was just, bam, titties. E-bombs e world, you're like, oh, who's, yeah. getting, who's getting fucked here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's anywhere you go, and that was when porn was just like, it was like the Wild West of the internet. Like, oh, my God. And, dude, also, like, I go, you go to, like, candystand.com to play some, like, mini golf, and all of a sudden you get a pop-up with, what like, that? fat tits. Yeah, that's back in the day when you could actually say it was a pop up. You know what I mean? Like yeah, now, now, like, now that ain't gonna fly with people. <laughs> oh, what's going on? I don't know what this is. Oh my god, this is a pop up. Like what fucking year is it? Two thousand eight? She's like, why is stepmom fucks young bull yeah. in your Damn. <laughs> search bar? Good old days of the pop internet. Up. Um, but yeah, so I I got this DM uh, from someone, and uh, it was interesting. But we just don't have the capabilities to do what I wanted to do right now. Right now. Right now. Uh, but I got a DM and it says, uh, can we talk about DL guys who want to be with my ass? So now, so for people who Wait, don't can you know, read what? DL. Is, is this, this this person? Yes, it is. So we'll get to the picture and we're going to show that in a second. But listen, uh, he said, he, this is a, bo- a man. And he said, can we talk about DL guys who want to be with my ass? Now, this is a man. DL, for those who don't know, is down low, which means people who are oh. hourly straight. Oh, like still as they as the terminology uses in the closet. Right. Gotcha. So dudes who are like, I'm straight, but then like want to fuck this guy. Yeah. Apparently. Which is pretty common from doing other people's lives and you know. So whatever. I hear. Apparently, there's like some like pretty like high end, not high end, but like high profile political figures that are like this. And oh yeah, they want to yeah they want to suck boys. Just go for it, man. Yeah, do your thing. Just um, go for it. So uh, I went to his page. And I saw this picture. Right? I can't believe that. So this is the picture. I went. I took the liberty of blurring the tips of the dicks. Oh, well, at least you know you did that. Yeah. And by the way, I got his consent, consent to put this, uh, you know, on well, I'd on the so. show. Yeah. I told him. I'm how like, hey, can- we got to talk about this. Okay. First, first question. How long did it take you to blur those tips? Yeah. Not that. Not that long. Really? There's there's a lot of tips there. I mean, there's tons of tips. There's tons of tips. There is, but you know, I you know, I took you know, I went out of my way. You know, I and listen, I've examined that fucking body. Really? Full of dick I right haven't there. gotten the opportunity to examine it quite that much yet. It looks good. So, Those are so some of them are pretty good looking. Pretty, I gotta pretty, admit, some of them have hair, some of them don't. I like the variety. I'm gonna say that some of them are also coming and others aren't. So you know, there's a lot. There's also some veins in there. There's a lot of different ones. And I can't know, look away. Is that bad? A, no, I've been staring at it all morning. To be honest with you. So where? So like, I got this DM and I went to his page and I was like, hey man, not we're not gonna talk about this on the podcast, but definitely want to show this picture and kind of talk about it because I'm like interested in what's going on here. Oh, and we haven't addressed the big elephant in the room. Tape over his eyes that says bitch boy. Oh yeah. Tape over his mouth that says faggot. Right. So now I'm like, well, what's going on? Yeah. This is. There's a lot going on here, and, and I'm sure this is artsy. Yeah, but I'm the type of person I don't necessarily like. You ever been on TikTok? Which I don't have to, but I used to do this with Vine all the time, and I'd see Vines. You know, it was like the fucking like them dancing, like girls like dancing to like some stupid shit. Okay, my head immediately goes at this is so stupid, but someone prepared this and was like, "I'm posting it because with this, this this guy, right? I mean, I didn't ask him this too because I I like to assume and not know the facts, uh, but." <laughs> But there's no way you could do this by yourself without, dude, unless I, you're the most talented man in the world. But he, you know, he got some help. I know he got some help. I mean, let's let's start with a couple things first. The amount, pa- of, bad pa- mad tape, a lot of tape, and it's not pictured here. But this picture was posted in the in the middle of June. Very hot. You're wearing a tape suit, a lot of sweat. Yeah, and if you're not careful, you go outside, that'll melt to your body. You're you're wearing that forever. Dick man. You're not you're not you're not gonna be able to that looks like Travis Barker's gay brother. Garth Barker. Gar Garth. Garth Barker. Yeah. <laughs> so he's he sent me a, a video because like I was talking to him and I was just saying, like, look, like 
I want to show this picture on on the show, and obviously it's a comedy show, and like you know, I'm there's a message there, and like it's artsy. We, we, it's, I get it. I I know the the message there, but I was like, we are gonna say some things that are kind of funny because let's face it, you're wearing a, 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 a duct tape suit covered. I in hope penis. he was like cool with it. No, well, he was. Obviously, if he was. Talking, he was. If we're he talking was. about. Yeah, it. if he was like no, I like you know I uh, then but he was like he was really cool about <laughs> it. But he sent me a message that I was like I also need to read this on the show because it's like <laughs> it's crazy. Oh really? So uh, you know what? Let me just go to my DMs. Uh, the basement yard DMs because I don't want to mess up like Here you how... go guys. You want to get anything on this show at the basement yard on Instagram DM literally the most ridiculous shit you could think of. Right. So I, uh, you know, said to him like I, I was writing out how like if we're gonna talk about it on the show like we're gonna make some jokes or whatever. We're not gonna be mean, obviously. Like you know, oh, no. but because there, there's this funny. Some of them are funny. Don't do this and expect everyone to be like, all right, I see the art. No, and he said, listen, I'm one of. Uh, he's like, I'm um the most self-deprecating person i really don't take stuff seriously and then he's like i had a friend draw d's all over me in a bathroom stall okay. wait, wait wait wait. i so, don't yeah so they were in a bathroom stall i don't know if it was his bathroom store or a public rest well who who has a bathroom stall at their home maybe maybe there's you know maybe, maybe this guy's loaded no 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 if maybe, he is I'll, I'll let him draw dicks on me throw them <laughs> on me while you're at it <laughs> no. no but he said uh, I had my friend throw, draw D's all over me in a bathroom stall because it might look degrading. But to me, it's turning all of that into, fuck you, I'm a faggot, I love D, get over it. So he's basically embracing the fact that like these are the things that people would say bad about him. Is like <clears throat> They'll call him a faggot or like bitch boy. Hold which, on. Bitch boy is hilarious. I love bitch boy. Bitch boy is funny. Let's talk about it. <laughs> bitch boy is great. I call my friends bitch boy sometimes. It's it's. It's really good. I need to know what it means <laughs> because like Cause it's just like a thing. I, I don't know. I think it's just people, but it's like I, it's it's cool what he's doing because he's. Like, <laughs> I forgot who I sent this to, but I was like, "Yo, we're gonna talk about this on the, on the show." And then someone's just like, "How could you possibly hurt this guy's feelings?" Dude, I'm like you can't. You can't now. I mean, yeah. basically, you just completely owning it. But here's the message that I really wanted to get to. All right, after I had said like, I just want to make sure you're cool with it. I would never like say something and like blah blah blah. And he's like. This is what he wrote back, which I don't even know if he like really acknowledged what I just said. But he's like, when homophobes who are actually low-key DL call me faggot, I love it. They just trying to turn me on. That's the... I haven't even got to the tip of the iceberg. I just wanted to stop there. Well, there's a lot of tips to get to. There the is. The iceberg is probably one we should get to first. Blur it all. Blur, don't blur the iceberg tip. <laughs> <laughs> so, says that, and then he's like, um, call, me, call me faggot on the street. I'll just start twerking. Oh, guys really into the degrading Hold on. stuff. And we talked about this on Patreon. We had a fucking fetish bracket and degrading. It's in there. It should have gone That's further. In there. But also the fact that, you know, in, in, in marginalized communities and people that use there's certain slurs or terminology that is used that degrade them, the antithesis of being able to degrade them is them taking that word and owning it themselves. Right. So people in the gay community that can then sometimes, and a lot of other people don't like it, like, especially with like, you know, the N word, you know, they're like, well, if they say it, why can't we say it? Yeah. First of all, you're racist. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Second of all, the fact that they're able to take ownership for that word and use it in a way that they can use as a sense of camaraderie is the antithesis of the word. Right. Mm. Frankie just really wanted to use the word antithesis. Ah. Uh, and then it says, um, they really think they got me in a fetal position sucking on my thumb. No, I won't be, but I could suck on an eggplant emoji. How about that? Okay. Go on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, he said, thanks for seeing my Instagram account and wanting to mention me on your podcast. Definitely repost you guys and also make sure you make it funny as fuck. So a lot of pressure. A lot of pressure now. A lot of pressure, a lot of pressure yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, uh, we need to, we need to, like, do you want to recreate this where I tape it onto you? No. Yes. Frank, I can't put that much tape in my body and I definitely can't put it on you because I know you got a lot of hair and it's going to be painful taking it off. Up, up, waist up. Not that hairy. Really? Yeah. Waist down. We have an issue. We got a problem. So what if you wore some tape pants? If you all right, call on it now. And what would what would you write on it? All right, call what, what do people call you? You fucking, uh, you know, what sign me got? He's like, oh, 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 four hundred names so came to I've his head. I've got so much. All right, full full transparency. I know we we set a goal for four thousand patrons. Oh oh god. If we get to five thousand patrons, I'll do an episode in a in a, a, a tape, tape suit tape suit. Oh my god! I'll do it. <laughs> it's so funny how the Patreon has just become this fucking <laughs> this level of how fucking tortured we could get. 
dude, a tape suit would be impossible. Also, am I going to have to tape your stuff? I mean, I'll wear just like a really small pair of boxers. I don't want my... <laughs> I don't want, like, the tip of my cock up against fucking just raw tape. Yeah, that would be tough taking that off. Yeah, could you imagine? No, no, no. What if it, like, seals your pee-pee hole shut? And you can't pee? And you can't pee. Well, what, if you got to piss with a... T- that's a... You know what? That's why you... That's also, is that tape or is that saran wrap? Either way, a lot it of look, sweat. It looks like that brown, like, UPS tape, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, what can brown do for you? Yeah, he taped up that package right, real tight. Yeah, 3M. This is this should be like a fucking poster for 3M. Also, all jokes aside. Yes. Like all jokes aside, whoever taped him up did an amazing job. There is not. There's not many folds. Like that's just that. Who well, else? you oh know, he had to stay as fucking still as possible. I mean, where's he going? He's in a bathroom stall. I'll be honest. The part of this that really makes me uncomfortable is like, you ever like put like something on your finger and it gets like all like fucking bloated? Yeah. This guy's this guy's ready to pop. He's also he's got it around his neck too. Can he breathe? First of all, he's clearly a fan of you with the haircut. <laughs> second, of all, second of all, this guy is probably so fucking hurt right now, dude. <laughs> oh man. He's, yeah, no, that's tough. That's a tough tape suit, man. It's big. It's big. Big. I tough gotta tape. be honest. If someone called me bitch boy, like, all right. Uh, bitch boy's so funny, man. I don't, I don't see how that could be degrading in any I, way. I, I get, like, <laughs> you know, it's just so funny because of the the levels here, you know? Like, yeah. for something that is, like, an artistic uh, way of getting your message across here, I get faggot because people use that oh, word Oh, absolutely, you. yeah. But I've, I've, I don't know if I'm just, you know, oblivious to this, but <laughs> the word bitch boy... Like I don't. Wanna, it's hysterical. Like I don't. I don't know. That's just I, not one that I think of when people are like trying to make like gay people feel I, bad. Dude, I bitch boy. Yeah, like that's it's it's just a funny combination of words. You could put the word boy after everything, and it's hilarious. Yeah. You know, squirt boy, drummer boy, even is funny. Eagle boy, like it's all funny. Eagle boy. <laughs> what the fuck is that? You never know, but Eagle it could boy. be like just the word boy just makes it all funnier. Yeah, it is. It is kind of funny. So like, if someone called me bitch boy. It's kind of funny. You know what I mean? Fuck boy. That's used all the time, it too. It is. It is. Fuck boy. You know, wet boy. Wet boy? Yeah. Like you're a wet boy. Uh, that's not an expression. When I was a kid, I didn't know what this meant. Meant. You're a, you a wet boy? No. I used to... I, I, I was a big rhymer when I was a kid. Loved rhymes. Okay. Let me... I wish I had a seatbelt. <laughs> We should get seatbelts for <laughs> times like when this. When I was a kid, I loved rhyming. I really did. And um, I had a lot of toys. So I put signs on my front window and front door saying, a boy toy lives here. <laughs> I was like four. You were four and you had a sign that said, a boy toy I lives make, here? I remember I stole like my grandmother's post-its and I would put loads of them on the front door <laughs> and the window. stole them. I post-its. did. They were, you know, okay. she used them. And I would put a boy toy lives here on all of them. So like, people, were you the boy toy? I was the boy toy. But you're not a toy. But I was I was a boy that liked toy. toys. So you were a boy toy. I was a boy toy. Now I know what that means. A boy toy. Can you imagine if they had opened and it was like my dad and me like hanging out? <laughs> Call child services right now, dude. Child services were almost called on my house. Fun fact. Wait, what? Yeah. Wait, from an outside. So we used to have remember remember computer rooms? Yeah. Yeah. Remember fax machines when they were like in houses? Love it. You know? Loud things. In our computer room we had a fax machine that had a phone on it. And I remember that I was not home when this happened. I learned about it afterward, but my brothers picked up the phone and somehow they were like four or five. Somehow oh, called nine one one. And the cops showed up to our house. And my mom forgot that I was at our friend's house. So she was like, all right, miss, how many kids are in the house? And she's like, oh, there's four. Because it's myself, my two brothers, and my sister. Mm -hmm. She forgot I was not there. So they're looking around and they're like... For this missing child. Number four is not here. (laughs) Number four. Ma'am, where is the fourth child? And my mom was like, oh my god, oh wait, no, he's not here. And like, they almost almost called like DCS on my mom. That's fire, dude. They thought she was hiding. Yeah. Wouldn't That's you? Dope. Did they like rip your house to shreds? Like break I think, down the walls? I, I think I don't, they didn't rip, break down the walls. Oh, but it I, could be like an Edgar Allan Poe situation. Poe. Who's that? You know, he's a guy. 
And but what, didn't what they, Edgar Allan Poe situation? Didn't he like have a person in a wall or something in one of those poems or some shit? Oh, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not man. a big, you know, I'm not a fucking... Not a big Poe guy. Not a big Poe guy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this guy, I have a lot of... Qu- like, I wish we could call him right now. Well, we we're, we could get him on the phone eventually. If everyone wants to get him on the phone, maybe we'll do it for a Patreon. We'll call him up. Um, uh, just so I, if you guys want, like that's his Instagram is on there, obviously. Uh, first of all, his profile picture is bareback in it too. If you see it. Yeah. 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 That I think well, that's, bareback. I think that's a gay term. It is. I think that's a good bare, gay term. No, no, no. I think it's just a porn term where it's just like not, no condoms. Just like bareback, bare, I, bare cock. I think now you got to Google it. Yeah. No, I, I, well, I'm not. I, I told you, I don't like being informed. I, I just will, like saying stuff. You just <laughs> You're like a lot of people in the United States. I don't know if you know that. Oh, politics. No, but he saw so another message I got from him. I said, you're the man. I will read that last message on the show. How do you pronounce your name? This is what I got. My Insta name is pronounced Erastes Eromenos, right? It's kind of hot. But it's like, obviously, it's... Erastes Eromeno. Yeah. And then uh, he's like... <laughs> said the next part of it was... And my stripper name is Elliot Miguel. But I'm not a stripper. Oh. I should be, though. Yeah, well, then why have the name? You Elliot got a stripper Miguel. name. What's your stripper name? I haven't even given it any thought. You got to give yourself one now. Uh, Jackson... Fuck. <laughs> Jackson Fox. I like that. Fox. I, I like that. Jackson with an X, Fox with two X's. Two X's. Fox. I like that. I'd be Hendrix Sloat. Sloat? <laughs> <laughs> what is Sloat? I don't know. That's, that's the first two names I thought of. I was listening to Jimmy on the way. Damn, and Hendrix Sloat. Sloat. Yeah, it kind of sounds gross. It's a little, it, like, you almost get... It's bubbly. You almost get, like, <laughs> gaggy when you fucking say it. Sloat. Sloat. <laughs> That's a good one, right? It's pretty good. You know, it's not bad. It's pretty nice. I did pretty good. Yeah, yeah. So we. What was we, yours again? Jackson Fux. F U X X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's pretty mm-hmm. good. Jackson Fux and uh, what was it? Hendrix Sloat. <laughs> and Elliot Miguel. And Elliot Miguel. I would be a Elliot good... Miguel sounds like a like a journalist name. Would you now. be a good stripper? Dude, no. Really? Not good. I fear that I would. I don't think my butt's nice. Let me see. I'm not going to fan out my butt right now. Please? No. It's not gay if I'm asking you to see your butt, right? I'm not worried about it being gay. Okay. I'm worried about my bare <laughs> asshole being on this fucking show. Oh, but you'll let me be in a tape suit? Yeah! And underpay me? <laughs> <laughs> and underpay me? Uh, Dude. We're going to tape suit you. If if we get to five thousand, why do you say it like I that? Don't know. We're gonna tape suit you. Yeah, I mean, it was Irish. Say, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if, if we, we get, get to five, five thousand. Okay. By the end of the year. Right, right, right. If we get to five thousand immediately, please. If I'm we get tape to fi- Frankie up, and I'll draw whatever I want on you. Uh, if I put a penis on you, I got to. How will tip. I sit? You'll have to put space in I'll between just, the tapes. You know what? I won't. I'll just do like. From I don't. Up. I don't think I'll be able to sit. I'm not fucking around I'm, I'm like, not we won't tape your whole body I'll tape you from the waist up oh okay that's you a, know? you're gonna need a lot of tape I'm gonna need a, a scissor too to get you out oh that's scary yeah I have to tape you I all mean I might be neck. able to you know I might be jacked enough where I can just fucking rip myself out of there you're not dude how much you wanna bet oh uh, now I'm gonna do push ups uh, that'll do it <laughs> I'm just I'll just do push ups I was looking for a reason to get in shape yeah now I have now one I- <laughs> Honey, I have to get in shape. I'm getting a fucking t- no, tape duck suit. It's so funny because after we record, I get tape home. Tape duck suit, I just said. It's okay. After we get home, uh, after I get home, Becca's like, oh, how'd the episode go? Like, what do you guys talk about? Where do I begin with this one? <laughs> where, where do I go? And it's only, like, we're not even halfway through. Not even a quarter to way through. Also, now that I just looked at my arm, so I ordered this from a brand. I'm not going to say their name because. They're not friends of the show? We're capitalists. And we're, exactly, friends of the show. We're capitalists and we only do things for money and we sold our soul years ago. Of course. Um, but no, so it's like, I'm assuming like a stoner brand, right? So everything is kind of based around uh, like, no, not like lighters and shit or like rolling papers. So it's like a little pocket here because when I ordered it, I ordered a shirt and then this, which are these, they make nice shit. It looks really nice. No, so it's dope. And, and uh, but some of their stuff you can tell is like, Stoner first, based. weed socks, yeah, like shit like that. So, 
I when I ordered it, it came it came with three lighters. That said high lighter, but high like oh, oh high. fuck yeah. And then a pack of rolling paper, so I have those. Oh, I mean just I don't know what you use them for. Just roll the fuck up something. Coffee beans, just Ooh. get fucking mad energy for the day. Do it, dog. Yeah, <laughs> smoke even, some coffee. Do you remember what happened? When, do you remember when we gave our friend oregano in computer paper and told him it was weed? I know it all too well. Good times. Good times. It's just a good time. Very dangerous now to think about it. That's a sore throat waiting to happen. Is it? Dude, oregano will fucking burn you. I think. <sighs> No, that's probably just dude. Oregano is kind of like you'd like you know if you get like oregano caught in the back of your throat, you're like, <coughs> well, that's just because something's in the back of your throat. But well, if no, I mean it's got a little bit of like a little thing to it, you know. That's you're white. It's not spicy if that's what you're saying. I'm not saying it's spicy. You don't do well with spicy food. No, no. It, on the way in, totally fine. Way out, we got a big issue. You got a big. You got a big. If I have chipotle mayo, which is like not spicy, it's like you know a nice little thing. Really. Man, do they turn up the heat in here. Do they? You know what I mean? Really? Yeah, something goes in at 100 Scoville, comes out at 100 million Scoville. Oof. So it comes out way hotter than it goes in. So it's are, just you a, are you a bowl grabber? Are you one of go? Oh! No, I don't grab the bowl. What the you know, hell? There are people that have to grab the they bowl. They grab the toilet? Where's it going? Have you ever, like, lost your breath? Shitting? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Dude. Oh, man. There was, I, it was years ago, years ago, years ago. I, I, there was something wrong with my stomach, and I was like, <gasps> No, like, I didn't like lose. I'm saying I lose my breath because I've been pushing for so long. It's like I'm giving birth. Oh, out you're going to give yourself some hemorrhoids, dude. Well, I'm not saying I'm pushing that hard. I'm just saying sometimes you like hold your breath and give it a, like a little push, and then you don't realize you're not breathing, and then you're like, I don't know, Really? Like, I got to take, I gotta oh, take I'm a I'm saying like this just passing whatever you're passing takes the breath out of you. No, 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 no. Well, sometimes when I had uh, fucking food poisoning, I thought I had like a bowel obstruction because like, I was like, I got to shit, but I can't. So I was, I was, that day was pretty bad. I could have, I could have hemorrhoided, but I didn't. Is that a verb? It's not. I mean, it could, whatever. Hemorrhoid? You know, I could have hemorrhoid myself. You could have hemorrhoid yourself? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Speaking of that, yesterday we were watching like, the fucking football. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Miles Sanders fumb- fumbled. And I was like, <laughs> and I just go, <laughs> It was funny. I go, oh god, Miles Sanders just fumbled. <laughs> I was fucking dying, dude. Uh, you were hurting from the other night. That's fumbled. Why. That's, that's why. what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, I was fucked up the other night. Yeah, that's all right. It's a good time. Um. Anyway, speaking of that, speaking of hemorrhoids, all those things. Let's get to these ads. Ooh, friends of the show. It's friends. a part of the show where we have friends some friends, friends, and we're gonna talk about all the cool new trends, and we're gonna talk about some ads our way, and we're gonna say them right now. Yay. I'll never remember that. Nope. So don't get used to it, don't kids. Don't get used to Don't it. get used to that fucking saying or little song and bang. Uh, <laughs> okay. This fucking episode has been insane. Okay. Uh, first, we have Native Deodorant. Native Deodorant uh, doesn't just block odor better than your regular brands, but it's also a safer alternative to deodorant. Um, and it's aluminum-free, so you don't have anything crazy, uh, you know, putting into your body. Because a lot of these things, like you know, other brands that I almost mentioned and probably would have gotten in trouble for. Uh, they have some like aluminum or things that aren't probably good for your body when you put them in your pores or like in areas like that. So they make safe aluminum free deodorant uh, and it smells great. They have great scents. They have uh, cucumber and mint, lavender and rose, coconut and vanilla, which is my favorite one. It smells so good. I just want to fucking eat it. Um, but yeah, it's great. 30 day, uh, free 30 day returns and exchanges, uh, over 14,000 five star reviews. It's amazing. Uh, if you want to try it out, go to nativedo.com slash basement 20, uh, the pro and, or use the promo code basement 20 at checkout to get 20% off of your first order. That is nativedeo.com slash basement 20, or use the promo code basement 20 at checkout. Again, 20% off your first order. That's huge. Um, but yeah, if you want to start using safer things, that's what you do. Get to Native. They got you covered, okay? Next, we have Quip, which is an electric uh, toothbrush that I use. I love my Quip, um, and it's amazing. Uh, it has, like, a pulsating thing in it where it, like, vibrates, and every 20 seconds or every 30 seconds, uh, it'll, like, vibrate or, like, it'll pulse, and then it'll tell you to switch your other side so you brush for a maximum of two, of two minutes, which is a dentist-recommended uh, amount of time. Um, and then they will send you packages with you know, br- new brush heads every three months and uh, toothpaste as well. Um, so basically they have you covered as far as like your teeth go, okay? So if you're brushing your teeth, 
Um, you're going to be want to use Quip because they are amazing. They're my favorite toothbrush I ever used. It's not like hard on your gums or anything like that. It's like it's perfect, honestly. You just have a good good toothbrush. Uh, right now, uh, start getting rewards for brushing your teeth today and go to getquip.com slash basement. Okay, and you'll get your first refill pack for free. Um, that's your first refill pack for free at getquip.com slash basement, spelled G-E-T-Q-U-I-P dot com slash basement. Okay, so go check them out. Next. We have Liquid IV, big friends, big friends of the show, big friends. Uh, the, Liquid IV is going to keep you uh, energized for the day, or they will keep you hydrated. Okay, so they have two different things. Where one of them, they have a premium matcha and, and green energy blend that tastes delicious and provides a lasting energy boost throughout the day. Uh, the boost you get from it is like one to two cups of coffee without the crash, um, and it contains a mixture of matcha. Uh, ginger and something else that I can't really pronounce that I don't want to say it, it would embarrass myself. Okay, but no, also say they, it, please. no, I'm not gonna say it. But they also have, uh, you know, these other stri- these other like they come in little packets and you put it in a glass of water and it's like drinking like three glasses of water. It actually hydrates you quicker than water would as well, uh, and they taste amazing. Like they're they're great. I love them. Uh, I ha- always have a liquid IV like every couple of days to make sure that I'm being hydrated. A lot of the people in the world aren't hydrated and are you know not getting the electrolytes or whatever they need. Um, so yeah, go to liquid IV, uh, liquid IV is available at Costco, uh, nationwide, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code basement at checkout. That's 25% off anything. When you order, when you use the promo code basement at liquidiv.com. Again, that is liquidiv.com and the promo code is basement. Okay. And lastly here we have Fiverr, which is an online marketplace that connects uh, businesses with freelance uh, freelancers offering hundreds of digital services, including graphic design, copywriting, web programming, film editing, and more. Uh, I've used Fiverr in the past to help me create logos. Um, you know, I worked with graphic designers through there. Uh, I've also used them for like a Twitch setup. I had them do like all these buttons and overlays and things like that, and it came out great. Um, it's great because you go on the site, you type in what you're looking for, you get a bunch of people with uh, you know that you can look at customer reviews and how much it costs, what the turnaround will be. Like if you need it in 24 hours, there's people who could do it for that. Or if you don't mind it taking a little more time, there's people who could do that as well. But it's great. And I, I couldn't even tell you how many things they offer. So I would just go on to Fiverr and type in what you need because there's probably someone on there that could help you with what you need. Um, but go check out Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, and receive 10% off of your first order by using the code BASEMENT. Uh, again, that is F-I-V-E-R-R.com and use the code BASEMENT for 10% off of your first order. Again, Fiverr.com, use the code BASEMENT, 10% off of your first order, and uh, yeah, get some help. That was nice. You're very good. You have a good way of... I thought you were gonna do some like wrestling entrance shit. Oh that? man, I don't know. I thought you were gonna do something cool. No, dude. <laughs> you just didn't. You just don't do anything cool. No, 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 it's fine. It's cool. It's cool, dude. It's cool. You're just a cool kid, man. Yeah, just cool. Cool, cool cat. Man. You remember when that geek that I went to middle school with made remade? He like came up to us when you picked me up from school one day in middle school. He's like, "Hey, man, I rearranged the letters in your in our school name, and it's the bar for cool cats." He came up to me and said this. He came up to us. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? I remember the bar for cool for cool cats. Yeah, this fucking loser. Also, a bar for cool cats doesn't sound all that great. No, it doesn't. I hate I, cats. It, Oh, I love cats. You love cats? I love cats, dude. More than dogs? No, I never said that. Okay. Why does it have to be a competition? Because they are. No, they're not. They are in direct competition. You can love both things just as much. I love both things just as much. Ew! Oh my God, it scared the fuck. (laughs) Sorry. A nice cat, dude, it's so cute because it's just like... You know? Wow, dude, that was a really good impression of a cat. That was, right? Yeah, it was fucking sick. What the fuck is that? I was That's trying not to do a that. thing. I, I, think it, I think it is. You tried. I heard it in Tom and Jerry. Like the, remember the opening to Tom and Jerry? Meow, meow. Dude, dun, I don't dun, know what dun, you're... Dun, 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 dun. I used to love Tom and Jerry, but what a, what a problematic show that is, huh? Dude, Jerry, do you know what like the original ending to that show was? So no. it, it like aired once and then they pulled it. It was like they like commit suicide. Dope. Dude, they these little this little mouse and this little fucking killed, little, each, killed themselves? just like pu- killed themselves. How would that fix anything? I don't know, but apparently it did. I'm shocked that fucking wait. How many episodes? The first episode they killed off. No, the two no, no. Characters? It was like the very end of the series, like the original run. They just fucking popped themselves in the chin with guns. They might have. It might have been another way of killing themselves. I'll have to look it up, but I know they did. 
Like these these cartoon yo, these cartoon shows that we liked as kids, they were a little fucked up. Yeah, I used to love Tom and Jerry. Me too. But you know what's crazy? So like I feel like people have like worries about shit like that that just like don't really register. You know what I'm saying? Cuz like I feel like people have this worry that like if we put something out like that right now, then kids are going to assume that, you know, animals are violent and that, you know, they hate each other and like that's why we shouldn't put stuff and it's like that but no. Like I don't yeah, believe that. No. I, I was watching Tom and Jerry, this fucking cat all it tried to do was kill this fucking mouse. And all this mouse did was fuck up this cat. Dude, this, light him on fire. Dude, this cat got the fucking piss beat out of it. Let dude, me tell you. hit it with a f- giant hammer. Frying pan out frying the Frying pans. Fucking lit it on fire and shit. Yeah. No, I, I, I... Well, there were other things. Like, because they're worried that we're going to, like, try to, like, recreate it. And I'll, I'll be honest. Some of the shit that Tom and Jerry did... I kind of wanted to recreate it. It looked pretty cool. No, the only thing ever I would agree that people, when parents were like, this is too much, would be jackass. Because and we, everyone tried to recreate that. We, and we did. And we did. And we dude. did hard. We did. We would we would just go out and throw each other off of shit. We we used to go around our neighborhood and just if we found something we could throw each other through, we would just take it. Yeah, we would just yeah. And then do you remember when we did the thing with me crossing the street on crutches? Yeah. Oh my god. So we I lived at an intersect I lived at an intersection and uh, pretty busy. It was a busy intersection, right? So we waited until it was a red light and a car just pulled up. And then we had Frankie walk by on crutches like he was hurt. And then we had Keith run right by him and kick one of the crutches out. People don't know this about Keith. Psycho. Dude, this kid was a fucking lightning bolt. He was a daredevil. This kid was a psycho. Like, the, <laughs> the, the reason he has such a short fuse now is because his brain is probably mushed from all the shit he used to Dude, do. Dude, he was just... And he was down for... We are like, yo, we should do this. And he'd be like, yep. And I was like, fuck no. Dude, you... <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. It was me and Keith that did this stuff. You yeah. always videotape. Yeah, I was like, chill. Look at how that worked Look at how that worked out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still exploiting my friends. Yes. <laughs> uh, t- so, but like Keith literally would sprint, book it, and yeah. he'd be like, "Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you," and yeah. I'll be like, "All right, yo, just hit me." This kid would hit you so fucking hard, <laughs> I'll never forget. He took that crutch out from under me and beat the living shit out of me with it. Yeah, he like kicked that one out. Frankie went down, and then he picked up a crutch and like hit him a few times. And the people in cars are like honking, like, "What the fuck's going there on?" There was like five cars backed yeah. up, like, and ready then Keith to... just ran into the night. Yeah, because that was down by like the like yeah, the, it was yeah. like abandoned like warehouses and right. shit. And Keith took off. And let me tell you something right now: if you didn't have a car, you weren't catching. Can't Keith. catch Keith. You were not unless you were riding a cheetah. <laughs> You're probably not going to see him again. Literally, you know? <laughs> there's no way this kid... Yeah. And on top of just also being fast, very evasive. Yeah. Like, he was fast, and then boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Like, he was in a fucking backyard before right. you can even like think about it. a squirrel. This kid was the squirreliest little He's bitch. A squirrely little bitch. And you'd never realize it. Little you, bitch boy. Little bitch boy, <laughs> Keith. Squirrely little bitch boy. And you'd look at him, and he had those dark Ray Charles glasses, and you wouldn't even fucking think about it. Right. Yeah, the ones that would, like, turn into sunglasses if the sun hit him. But his would be dark at night, and you'd be confused. Yeah, and then he broke his neck, and it all went downhill and then, from there. you know, which, <laughs> hey, man, sometimes you break your neck, you take it easy. You know, the story of Icarus, <laughs> you fly too close to the sun, and you'll get burnt. You get burnt, you burn your wings. You, you know? know what I mean? And that's what happened. But, so. yeah, they, we, we definitely re- tried recreating Jackass. Yeah, and I, there was another time specifically where we're like, oh, this would be funny. And it was, like, the best video we've ever created, probably still to this day. Dropkick? Yeah, so Frankie, uh, we took my mom's garbage can, and we took the garbage out of it. And, and let me tell you, didn't clean it. Didn't clean. I remember. It as, wasn't even a thought. To clean I remember it. as clear as day that inside there was like this white spongy shit. Yeah, yeah. And it was fucking gross. Yep. And it was like in my teeth, basically. But at it the was end. less important than getting the shot. Oh yeah, of course. <laughs> it was. Art. It's all about art. So Frankie puts it on his head. And he, we even did like the jackass intros. It was like, uh, you know, welcome back to whatever the fuck the forty eight street files. Forty eight street files. Uh, and this is the drop kick. And then. Uh, you put it over your head, and Keith ran from the other side of the yard, and literally both legs in the air, bang, and kicked Frankie in the face, basically through this garbage can. Dude, and I went flying. I I was on another planet by the end of it. I don't know how you ended up doing that. The most impressive part of it was how high Keith got up. Because remember, Dude. I was I was this was like post 
uh, this was like in the middle of my growth spurt. So I was taller than both of you guys right. at this point. And he kicked me so fucking <laughs> hard. And like, I was expecting it like in like the chest because the, the garbage <laughs> can da- came down to like here. Yeah. And I remember I was expecting it here, but he kicked me literally like his, both his feet fucking like made up perfect. It was perfect. Dude, I, I actually have, uh, the I still have the camcorder. We need to. Do you have the tapes? I have the tapes. We need to play it. I need to find it because if I could put it in this episode, first of all, I haven't seen that video. We haven't watched. Do you we remember watch any of these? I'm terrified to see. Holy them. shit! Terrified to see that because we had that stuff, but we also had us wrestling for a Ma- fucking yo, hour. So many wrestling matches. A lot of wrestling and matches. so many like little skits. The will, first videos I ever made. I and will say, so bad. I will say, the best one that we ever did was Lost to Time, and that was the hide and seek. Lost to t- oh oh yeah it's yeah, gone. yeah yeah it's that was gone. the best one. We it was lose that one. fucking hysterical. It was. It was a very quick thing. <laughs> it was still funny though. It was. But I like I'm afraid because like you get like embarrassment. Like oh. we would just sit there and sing bread and butter. Yeah. Do you remember that? I do. I we do. bit like a, a spicy pepper. It was like a gardenia pepper. It wasn't that even that spicy? Oh my god! Do you remember when? Because uh, we would we would make these videos, and then our friends would come over, and they'd be and they like just seeing like a camcorder would make people be like, oh yeah, I'm down. Like this is cool, you know. And I remember one of our friends, Danny, came over, and uh, I know exactly where <laughs> we, this is going. He just whipped him with a belt. We had a, that was the video. The the video was he was like, yo, I'm I'm so fucking down. We went in the middle of the street, yeah. down by like the abandoned buildings, and I had <clears throat> my baseball belt. Because it was when I was playing like fall ball, and the tip of a base, the baseball belt is basically elastic, and then the tip was cork. Yeah, and it fucking hurt you. It was shaped. It was phallic. It, it was like a pipi. It, it was like Mister Elastoromos. Yeah, or whatever his fucking elastic Romo, and we whipped the fuck out of this kid. Dude. Yeah, he had like a big welt of like a dick shaped thing on yeah. him. Yeah, and I remember because we would never curse in our videos because we would show our we would show your parents. Yeah. And in this one he was letting them fly. Dude, oh my god, I forgot about that. Yeah. That we wouldn't curse in the videos because we show I would show my mom and I was so proud. And yeah. she's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did She'd some so stupid mad. shit. I I would love oh. to see him, but I don't know if I can handle it. I I definitely need to figure out how I can turn uh cassette tapes there's a way like, there's a hundred no there is a way. a way i know there's a way i just haven't like looked into it but now that i have the pressure of recording this like i have like a week i guess to extract that footage just just, just be careful what you put out there yeah just be careful do you remember we did one it was um where you guys held my legs open and someone dr- keith drop kicked me in the dick yep that was in my mom's front yard nothing in this world i am shocked that i'm having a child because nothing has taken more abuse than my balls and dick. <laughs> Dude, we used to fuck it like a bean bag, like just fucking dig it, 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 dig it. Yeah. Used to beat up my dick and balls. Yeah. Used to you used to beat my dick so fucking hard back in the day. Go easy. Oh. <laughs> it didn't really happen that often. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You used to fucking beat my dick. You know what I'm talking about. No, I know. We, we, but there would be so there would be stupid fucking videos we made. I remember one God. time it was we didn't like, even know we were gonna get to here. Cause we, yeah, we didn't. When, when I before I hit puberty, I was able to make this fucking screeching loud noise, oh. and it was so loud. It was like a fucking eagle, basically. And on top of that, you were using your brother's beer bong. It was a beer bong that my brother. <laughs> And I would scream into it, and then we decided, like, "Yo, we're gonna do a fucking." Uh, it was like a nature like a dis- video, yes, Discovery Channel type of video where Frankie was gonna put on an accent and be like, "We got crikey, we got an yeah. animal here." I forgot yeah, yeah, the name yeah. of it, but then he like found me, and I was screaming at him, dude. It was so fucking dude, stupid, but it's so fucking funny, <laughs> but it's so dumb. God Almighty, what a what a time in our lives. We did that American was. Idol. We did. Ooh, we- uh, ooh, uh, ooh. <laughs> We held a picture. We drew the American Idol. Drew it. It was bad. We drew the American Idol logo and just held it in front of a camera. And then Frankie's sick. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I remember that. And I was Simon. I was Paula. And I was... Uh, we, I want to cut out the Randy impression, probably. Why? <laughs> You're probably like, dog. Yo, dog. <laughs> Listen, man. It wasn't for me. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, that shit was fucking funny, man. I remember we did... Uh, we did um, 
we did like a we did a Wizard of Oz thing, and then at the end we did the like it was coming like a, soon, coming soon, and it was like the the gay Lion King. <laughs> So fucking I remember stupid. that the gay Lion King and you. <laughs> oh God! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Simba Roar. Oh yeah, that's basically what it was. It was very tone deaf. Let's be honest. <laughs> also, with the Wizard of Oz video, so like you were able to like in iMovie. Uh, actually, no, I couldn't use iMovie. It was just how we shot it. Yeah, was how it came out. Yeah, I'm 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 bugging. No, but I meant like. So obviously in the Wizard of Oz there's like a tornado that like shakes up the house or whatever. So to film that, I lived near a factory that had a smokestack. So I just zoomed in on it as far as I could and was shaking the camera and going <laughs> like it was the fucking tornado. And shaking the camera like <sighs> dude, we're fucking idiots. We were. Do you remember when you smacked me in the stomach with a fucking with a with a broom handle? Big time, yeah. Dude. <clears throat> That left the, that's the, I think the wildest wealth I had ever gotten. Cause you unloaded on me. Was it me or I thought it was Keith? It might've been Keith. He was taking out some, <laughs> yeah, he, was, he was doing stuff. He might've, he might've, I, I was making fun of his hair, his jacket. He might've fucking hit me real hard. Oh man. Keith used to have this fucking jacket when we were younger that literally wouldn't fit me if I was on Frankie's shoulder today. Dude. <laughs> it was a big jacket. Yo, this thing, I kid you I not. I like it. It's warm. Had 17 pockets. And they were all hidden. Four feet deep. And they were all like, it's like you had a pocket here and a pocket here. And then pockets here. And then you unvelcro, And then two more fucking pockets under. Yeah. Literally, that's the, the pocket like blueprint to yeah. this jacket. Yeah. And it literally went from his shoulders, where a jacket starts, to the floor. His ankles. It was like a, a, it was like a trench coat, but it wasn't. It was, it was literally like... How you said, like, like in movies, like the little rascals, like they get on each other's shoulders and they're like walking like left and right. That's what he looked like. That's exactly what he fucking looked like. And one of the pockets was filled to the absolute brim. So many mints. With lifesaver, life, lifesaver mints. The, the, the pepper. The winto spearmint. green. The winto green. First of all, those things are crack. We know that. If it, I can't have one. I need 100. You, you have to have a, a fucking fortnight's worth. If you have one, you eat 100. And then you have diarrhea. Yeah. First, you know. You have diadoodles. You have, you, know you have the cha-cha-cha. You have cha-cha-cha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this kid used to come out of the store. Because this, <laughs> this is when he was working, I believe, at a liquor store. Yes. And he, he was one of the only one who had money. No one, no one had money. Right. I, I think I had a job for like four months. But it was for like from like August until October, which is not four months. <laughs> <laughs> But he like kept a job for a while. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, he had money. He would go in and he would drop like eighteen dollars on candy, <laughs> crush it. And that's when I did in his jacket. That's when eighteen dollars worth of candy was a lot of candy. It's a little ton of candy, dude. This kid, I am shocked. He he's, doesn't have diabetes. He's still like that to this day, where it's like, uh, you know, like if if you're at my house on a Sunday and you're just like, oh man, I would love like a piece of like big red gum right now. He would go to the store and come back with 40 packs of Big Red Gum. Aww, there is no selfless. one. No, he is. But he would ask you to drive him. That's the part. That's fucking. <laughs> he'd be like, just drive me over there. I was like, I literally don't want gum that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he'll fucking. By the way, I had a piece of Big Red Gum. My God, that tasted like 2002. Does it? It does. Damn. It brings you back. I had a. Where? where I forgot when. Dude, it's I, like a gum time machine. I think around like Easter, they still do bubble tape of Juicy Fruit. And I was so ready to go back and just absolutely bump D4L in my car by myself while chewing it. Frankie was a giant juicy fruit guy. That's a fat and gay joke. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, all right? If no, everything but... we're talking about with, you know, El, El Rosa, El Rosamos. <laughs> Bitch boy over there. Yeah. No, yeah. I. Uh, <laughs> so funny how that picture's been in the background. The whole time. I mean, it's, just have it blown up on it's my It's my computer. inspiration. When I'm getting upset, I look at it and I'm like, I can still do this. I can still do it. Life can get worse. I can wear... <laughs> Before, I was like, God, it's getting hot in here. I was like, it's probably way hotter in that tape suit, oh, though. Oh, 100%. <laughs> and all the heat is coming from that because not only do you have that awesome picture up, but the sun is like beaming down on it it's right now. It's beautiful right now. It's, it's nice. Just, it's illuminated. It's amazing. It's nice. But yeah, man, just, we lived some life back in the day. Damn. I'd so do it all times. over again. Oh, 100%. Dude, if you, could go, if you can give up five years of your life 
to go and live one whole year of your life at any other age? Would you do it? Oh my god, that's a tough question. It depends how long I'm five is live. five is a long time. Two years. Uh, it depends how old I get to be. I'm saying you can be any age. No, I'm talking about when I die. Uh, oh, I'm saying like just like right now, like you'll miss twenty nine and thirty. Oh, and you'll be you know. No, no, no. If anything, I, w- I would give up like a fucking like if I if I live to like eighty eight, I'd be like, all right, I'll give up eighty eight. Yeah, eighty six, eighty eight. Yeah, potato, potato fucking, at that point. Yeah, you know, I get past eighty, house money. Yeah, How you doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like whatever. <laughs> like we're good. At that point, I'll be doing other people favors. You yeah. Know? <laughs> yeah. Basically, it'll be a lot easier on everyone. But no, else. I wouldn't give up like an age now. Fuck no. Oh. Yeah, no, no, not with a family now. I can't. But like, <laughs> no, I fucking just, like, yeah, you're saying like 86. Oh my god, take it. You can you, you can take it. Take, take a year anyway. So I, I probably wouldn't even know you took it. Yeah. <laughs> be like, what are we At doing? that point, what I'll be so it? senile. It'll just be like you know. Oh, can't wait. Damn, dude, I'm gonna be so good at being old and angry. Like I'm gonna be, I'm gonna excel at that. Well, you're Italian and Irish, so you're already doing a great job. I already there's a there's a you're you know, already angry as it is. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of stuff in here that's coming out when you're old. Yeah, I, I back when it. I was younger. But see, see, you're fucked because you've been hotter than me since fourth grade. Before that, I was a little, I was a little cuter than you. Okay. Uh, no, I wasn't. <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? But like, Spanish men. Oh, they I'm, age way better. I'm gonna be a fine wine by the time I'm sixty. You know what you're gonna look like? Like a potato that Dude, was like. Shaved. You're gonna look like such a piece of dumpster shit. <laughs> you know that? You're gonna look so bad. I'm going to be out there crushing salt and pepper hair. Oh, yeah. With like a nice tan going. Yes. And you're going to look. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to look like shit, dude. Yes. Yeah. Me. It's funny because the ugliest one of our friends, me and Marco, are going to grow up to be. The- <laughs> <laughs> They're going to grow up to be the best looking. Everyone says. Why? Because you guys are Spanish. I agree, and Marco and I have spoken about this. We believe each other are the best looking of all of our friends. Right. Uh, because we're the most well rounded. You know, you, you're hot. That's it. I don't think I'm hot. I think I'm more like. Dude, cute. fuck you. Am you I, know you're hot. Am I, am I hot or cute? You're hot. Really? Yeah, you're hot. I don't know if I want that. I See, I'm more of the. Oh, you're more of the. No, you're an attractive guy. I never said I'm not attractive. Don't ever get me fucking confused. I think you could be hot. I think you. I think with a fade could be. I think you could be hot with like a fade. I have a fade. Yeah. No, yeah well, it's fading. My fading is. <laughs> my fade is fading. No, like the when that day. Remember, I texted you. I was like, "Yo, it, it looks good." You did say that. Because it does. Thank you. You know, it does something. But when you just because like, you don't care. I don't. You you let your facial hair just grow like you're you're like oh dude it looks like I've been doing research in a cave. Awesome. Then, yeah. Well, not good research. Bad research. Oh, like I don't know what that means. Yeah. I was gonna say. <laughs> And then your hair is just like ridiculous. And I mean, I I think that you know I'm in a, I'm in a very comfortable place. Yeah. I have a, I have a partner. No one's family on the way. That doesn't mean you don't take care of the way you look. But like I don't, I, I care about other things. You know, I what does it take? Two seconds to fucking get a fade. It, I'm not it, telling. You, it's not even about the. Put fade. it like this. Do you want to know something a hundred percent serious? Mm-hmm. In the last ten years, I have paid for a haircut four times. I will not fucking pay for haircuts. I think it is so stupid. Did you pay for that fade? I did. Yeah, I did. It's nice. And I wasn't it paid so, off. Paid I, off. It came out nice. It came out great. It came out good. It came out great. But like these people that get fades, like Joey. I don't get fades like crazy. Joey. When, I don't, you get a haircut every three weeks. Yeah. That was, uh, probably. Yeah. 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 That's a lot. No, is it? That's a lot. I have a short hairstyle. You get to how much? If you don't mind me asking, how much is your haircut? All it's, in all, it's a pretty penny. Fifty dollars? No. Sixty dollars, <laughs> Joey. It's an expensive haircut. Joey, it's seventy dollars. No, I, I could be less. You don't know. Look me in the eyes and tell me it's less. I, I don't want to look at you. <laughs> Why would I look at you? Seventy? Are you crying? <laughs> Did you just yawn? Seventy? <laughs> no, it's like eighty dollars. I know. I just got pumped. Because I paid off a credit card and saved myself a hundred dollars a month, and you're just throwing away two hundred dollars basically for fucking haircuts. Two hundred times two. What is? Where are you getting two? You said you get it every three weeks. There's four weeks in a month, so you get one on the first of the month. You get one at the end of the month. That's two in a month. Well, yeah, but every other month. Okay. Dude, I can't fucking believe this. <laughs> Why? 
It's very hot in here right now. I need water. It's not that fucking crazy. You know what else? You want? You want? Because here's the thing, right? What? Because I didn't pay for a haircut for years. Because Thomas cut my hair for okay. years. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. I saved all the money there. Also, uh, not to fair. not to That's fair. not to mention. We get it. I don't. Sixty million revenue last year. I. <laughs> I don't, I don't buy a lot of shit. What do I buy? That sweatshirt. I buy the sweatshirt, yeah. Sometimes, that yo, hat? I buy... That thing on your wrist. I do. What about shoes? Well, f- yeah, the things that I have, I buy, Frank. Congratulations. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think I made them? People are making their own shit? Yeah, I had the things that I have. What about these lights? What the fucking... What are you kidding fair, me? Fair, 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 fair. I don't really buy shit that often. I don't either, so I'm with you there. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, if you want to offset my haircut with your fucking Pokemon collection... I have not enough Pokemon. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so listen. So eBay's my, getting your money, my barber's getting my mine. My toy collection has made a bit of an uptick as of late, okay? Yeah, it has. But eBay, you're, these kids <laughs> over here watching 30 different things. Thing. Doesn't mean I'm buying them all. You're bid. I lose on some. You're bid. I lose on a lot. But you could be winning. But I'm not. And actually, fuck. I, <laughs> I need more stuff. I got some stuff in a cart right now that I need to buy. Listen, Frankie's gonna buy. But a I'm house making investments. <laughs> Frankie's gonna buy a house soon that has an extra bedroom to put his collection. You know what's the most fucked up part of that sentence? A thousand percent true. <laughs> I, I, the words came out of my mouth last night, Tebeka. We really should get a four bedroom <laughs> because I need a playroom. She, I need a toy room. Yeah, you can put like the streaming setup in there and then surround and then it. Surround it by toys. Yeah. So I've never, but I've never bought this stuff for myself in my life. I make a sixty dollar purchase and I'm thinking about it for weeks because I'm fucking <laughs> pissed off. You know what I mean? Let yeah, me live. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy right now. I'm nice. comfortable. Well, here's the thing: if we can get five thousand patrons, you could buy way more toys. We get to see you in a duct tape suit, dude. Could you? Im- so full transparency, Joe gives me 0.5 percent, <laughs> half of one percent, half of one percent. <laughs> oh, dude, of the of the but five hundred billion also, dollars I made see, last year, I'm smart. Okay, mm-hmm. well, you made five hundred million last year. I said five hundred billion. Billion? Yeah, yeah. That's pretty impressive. So 0.5 of that, that's a lot of money. 0.05 of that is a lot of money. Point, yeah. I'll take 0.5 of that. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll tell you this. Mm-hmm. Um, I just lost my. Chance. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> You're at five hundred billion. He was like, oh, "Wait, what's oh, going oh, on?" Oh, yeah, I do. You know, all of my purchases are investments because you're never selling. If I ever sell them, pretty penny. Yeah, you it's know, the same argument people make when they buy like watches. Like you buy a watch. No, no, it's no. Like, oh stupid. well, it, I'm that gonna, depreciates. They, no, they don't. They Not don't. all of them. No, re- oh, like, they appreciate. What kind don't, Joey? Rolexes. I'm not wearing it. No, oh, I'm not. okay, all right. I do have a Rolex, but it's yeah. like I bought that with the intention of like I'm not gonna Dude, justify it by being like, hey, this all, appreciates. So if I need to sell, it, jokes, I'll make money off. All of it. jokes aside, I'm never gonna sell that. All jokes aside, do your thing. You had a great year last year. You bought yourself four Rolexes. <laughs> I am so proud of you. I have one. I'm so proud of you. Four Rolexes. Um, no, but like, like I, I, I that's the way that I do justify it in my <laughs> so head. <laughs> that is the way I justify it in my head. What is I'll literally say like, oh, all right, this this fucking you know this lot of Power Rangers toys from 1994. If I'm spending hypothetically two hundred sixty seven dollars and thirty cents on it, <laughs> and yeah. think about where it's gonna be in another twenty years. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, in your fucking room. Yeah, <laughs> but if I die and my family are ever pieces of shit and get rid of them, because <laughs> let me make that very clear. Family, I know you're listening. Get rid of my shit. I'll haunt you. <laughs> Hard. Your daughter's going to be born and be like, oh, this stuff is gay. Dude, <laughs> I'll be it. so mad. It's so funny. I will be so mad. But I'm, what I'm saying is like, I've already seen some of the stuff that I've bought. Dude, two years ago, I bought a copy of Mario 64 in box, pristine condition for $40. I don't know the market. It's at like 120 right now, Joey. Two years. You know what you could do if you sell that? Get a haircut. <laughs> why don't you pay me more, you son of a you sick son of a bitch? Yeah, point oh five percent. Yeah, it was funny because when I sent my resume into Joey, he remembered my last name was Alvarez, and he offered me less money. 
<laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> All right, this is getting too real. Yeah, too real. I'm sorry, joke. joke I had joke. to. I had joke. to do that. Literally, we all know that you if have I, been more than generous and kind in the way that you've helped me. And my if family. I hired another white person, that people would be looking at me weird. Like, yeah, hey, let's man. be honest. You need some diversity. Some nepti- ne- nepti- You got me. There. You got that that kid from fucking Chile or whatever he's from. <laughs> Argentina. That one. And <laughs> I didn't even think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I you got him you got me yeah, and that's it right yeah yeah and josh josh is very white yeah, yeah, yeah. he wears wife beaters as a shirt he's white <laughs> yeah. let's be honest yeah he loves camo hats oh he does yeah he does and and really likes muay thai yeah you know what that actually might be the spanish part of him because you know the, his- <laughs> the hispanics like to fight Frankie said that. This is capoeira right here. I can say it because I'm 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 so colombiano. Oh, see. Yo soy un colombiano. Yeah. James. Yes. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> oh fuck. Can you do an Irish accent? Hey man, I can't do any accents. Any? No. Like if I give you one right now, you'll fail hard. Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, give me an Irish. Did you not just hear what I just? <laughs> <laughs> but like you won't even try? No. I Australian. Can't. Even I I wish I could, but I can't. That'd be hot. That was what Boston. Was that? that was Boston. <laughs> That'd be hot. <laughs> Remember that video of that girl where they're like <laughs> it's like do a Jamaican accent and she just goes, Balik <laughs> Yeah, Balik <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh you can't do any whatsoever. No, nah, man. Like I, not even try. No, nah, I wish I could, man. Because I watched you know it's a really good episode of uh, comedians in cars getting coffee. Uh, I watched Jamie Foxx's, and he's doing accents the entire really, time. Really, just he's crushing amazing. him. He's amazing. Yeah, yeah I, I wish, love Jamie Foxx. I wish I could. I, like, I can do like small little snippets, but like, if you ask me to start talking like someone for a while, it'll like go all over the place. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not very good. Anyway, that's all for this week's episode. <laughs> We could wrap this up, guys. Where are we? Where are we for time? We're over, <laughs> we're over an hour. I'm gonna get a big plant here. Ooh. You want a plant? Oh, fuck, I knew I forgot something. You brought me a plant? I got a plant for you. Is it big? No. But it will get huge. Really? It's gonna get it's gonna get big. It's gonna be the big It's gonna be like this big. It's gonna then it's gonna And get then bigger. if you keep it well, it'll become huge. See the thing with plants is they start off small and then get big. I love plants. I have plants. My my daughter My child she's started a plant. Off as a plant. Think I about humans. Him. Humans are like plants. I watered him. I water my wife. And now he's huge. My wife, In I water China. her. Get sunlight. F Alvarez eight zero eight five on Twitter and on Twitch. The Frank Alvarez on Instagram. And then uh, come hang out with me. Like I said, on Twitch. Fun time. Fun times. Fun time. Uh, speaking of which, I'm trying to play some games of videos today. Tonight. Oh, I'll be I'll be on. I'm streaming tonight. Yeah. I stream, guys. For those of you guys that don't know, uh, these come out on Mondays. Monday nights I stream normally. Eight forty five p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Did you say Eastern Daylight? I believe that's what it is now. Because I, I would say Eastern Savings, but I believe it's Eastern Daylight now. I don't know. And I've I, been keeping up on the the time zones names. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, just want to give a quick shout out to our patrons. Again, patreon.com slash the basement yard uh, to uh, sign up and you get an extra episode of the basement yard every single week. Uh, as well as promo codes for merch and stuff like that. Uh, there's new merch coming. It actually mm. might even be out by the time that this airs. Oh. Um, so check that out, uh, thesanagalastore.com, and go follow us on Instagram at the Basement Yard. And that is all. See you guys next time. <laughs> <laughs>